face to face. Former President Trump and his one time attorney and fixer, Michael Cohen, meeting in a New York City courtroom amid the civil trial into alleged business fraud committed by Trump. Cohen, once a staunch ally of the former president, testifying against him in this case, in which Trump is accused of inflating his net worth by billions of dollars to access benefits such as better bank loans and reduced tax bills. Correspondent Laura Ingalls live at the courthouse there in Manhattan. Laura, Cohen taking the stand really just a short time ago. What did we hear? Yeah, it has been an interesting day so far here at the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. We heard Michael Cohen talking about his past legal criminal history. Uh, those answering those questions coming from an attorney with the DA's office, seemingly to just kind of address that issue, get it out of the way so they could get on to the matter at hand. And it has been, as we've been reporting all day, one of the most highly anticipated moments of this civil trial, watching the former president and his former employee together in the same room for the first time in five years. Now, Mr. Trump has been listening intently with his arms tightly folded across his chest at times, uh, staring at his former confidant, as Cohen has been looking straight back at him at the defense table while testifying. Uh, Cohen wants a fierce defender of Donald Trump, who is now one of his fiercest critics, is acting as a key witness here for Democratic New York Attorney General Letitia James in the civil fraud case. Now, Cohen told prosecutors today on the stand that he was tasked by Mr. Trump to increase his total assets based upon a number that he arbitrarily selected and that it was his responsibility, along with Trump's CFO, to reverse engineer the various different asset classes to increase those assets in order to achieve the number that Mr. Trump had requested to allegedly secure favorable bank loans. The war of words between the two started early today with Trump calling Cohen a liar and Cohen saying that the case is not between the two of them or what they think of each other. Listen. He's a proven liar, as you know, a felon, serves a lot of time for lying, and when you're just going to see, and I think you'll see that in the southern district came out with a scathing statement about him. So he's a liar. This is not about Donald Trump versus Michael Cohen or Michael Cohen versus Donald Trump. This is about accountability, plain and simple, and we leave it up to Judge Angoron in order to make all the determinations on that. Okay, so the attorney general is seeking at least $250 million in fines and a permanent ban against the former president and his sons from running businesses here in New York on top of a five-year commercial real estate ban against the Trump empire. So right now we are in a lunch break. And when Michael Cohen came out and walked past the press pen, uh, reporters asked him, so how is it going? What was it like to be back in the room with your former boss? And he called it, quote, a happy reunion. Court will be back in session in about half an hour. We'll bring you more as it comes here at the courthouse. All right, Laura Engel, live for us there in Manhattan. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.